Hey guys, Time Jim here. Let's do some comic book reviews. All right. Uh, just like last last week, uh, there will only be three books this week, so um, it's just uh, just an awards, all awards this week. So um, let's get started with the first one. The first book is for beatdown of the week is uh, Walking Dead fifty four. Um, like I mentioned the last time around, this um, this book it deals with the uh, uh, who started the whole uh, zombie outbreak, and we find out. Well, it's really no surprise. It, it, it this one kind of disappointed me because I expected a little bit more creativity from this uh, writing group because they, you know, the whole storyline and stuff like that is very very good. But the whole thing about you know the government was behind it, and oh my god. They're gonna pay for it. That type of deal. It's, it's been done before, and it was kind of disappointing. However, it is gonna be down of the week because this guy on the cover, um, it just provides a, a ruthless beatdown with just a pitchfork and a couple of knives, and, and just deals with some zombies like no other. I mean, it's wow. It's just, it's just awesome. Very very good book. Um, but like I said, it was kind of disappointment because. Of you know the whole government's behind the zombie outbreak and it's been done with video games, it's been done with comic books, movies, all type of stuff. So um, needs to be a little bit original. Okay, uh, next book is the cover of the week, and the book that gets that is uh, Kingdom Come Kingdom Come Special Superman Number One. As you can see, Alex Ross does the cover and also does all the art in in this book. Beautiful, beautiful art in this book. It, the cover, the book, Alex Ross. Uh, it's also written by him too. It, it's just you can't go wrong with Alex Ross when he does uh, artwork. I mean, it's just simply amazing. He does this a beautiful job with it. Um, and this kind of, I guess, it, it this goes. I'm not, I'm not uh, too familiar with DC books, especially with the Kingdom Come stuff and stuff like that. So. Forgive me if, I, if I'm, you know, off on some, some things with the Kingdom Come stuff. But from what I take in is that this older Superman came from a parallel Earth where his Lois and his world was uh, basically is just died off and he's like, he's a lone survivor. And uh, he's come to the, um, I guess, the main... DC Universe line, and um, it's just basically telling of how he got there, um, how he thinks maybe he's the maybe, uh, you know the person who um, will bring about the end to that uh, mainstream DC line too, and it's just been it's the stories. I mean, I, I kind of got confused a little bit, but it was a pretty good story. Um, it shows how uh, his Lois died. Um, but um, yeah, but the fat artwork is fantastic in this one. It's just extremely, extremely awesome. Um, so I'll pick this up if you if you really like artwork um, and some decent story, then this is way to go. So, book of the week. I mean, it's this one's no, not a surprise. It is every time this one has gone up for uh, a book of the week or even come up on sale, it's gotten book of the week. Wolverine, Old Man Logan, 69. Oh my god, this was oh, so awesome. So, so awesome. Um, we picked up where we last left off. Now, I gotta confess to you guys. I thought um, this book um, was just... Um, uh, well, how do I explain this to you guys? I thought this book uh, was out recently. And um, I thought I had missed the... The gap, you know, I thought I'd uh, missed it and I um, was like, oh man, I missed the other issue and stuff like that. But no, I didn't. So the, thank goodness I, I realized that I didn't. But anyway, getting back to the story, the book, oh my gosh, the artwork is fantastic. Stephen Niven and Mark Marlar do, do a fantastic, fantastic job both in writing and in the artwork. And it's just, oh man, fan a fantastic book. I cannot wait for this this uh, series to come out and trade because I just want to read it, read this one over and over again. But we find out that from last issue that the uh, Hawkeye's um, kid, the new Spider Woman, uh, betrayed him, and now they're on the run from her, and she's basically the new kingpin of of like I guess um, 
of crime and now they're after them and um, they Hawkeye and Wolverine just getting caught into this, all this other mess you know they get uh, sucked underground by uh, moldoids um, dinosaurs are chasing after them um, they find a f couple few uh, more spots um, in the country uh, we find where the La Baxter building where Loki basically died um, just a lot of, lot of little nuances there and I just want to mention this too all three of these books that I picked up pretty morbid I mean we're dealing with you know Walking Dead here which is basically you know zombies taking over the world uh, Superman came to come where a world that dies and Old Man Logan, Wolverine Old Man Logan is basically where super villains have taken over and there's no good in the world pretty morbid but all of them are really good books for this week I'm really I actually was kind of surprised I didn't expect uh, as much good books out this week but I was presently surprised I'm very happy with my selection this week as far as next week goes though I am not counting on there to be any great um, any good books this next week so I might not do a comic book review for next week uh, depending on how good the books are stuff like that if I don't find anything out there worthwhile I'm not gonna I'm not gonna um, do a review. I might pick up a trade, but uh, we'll see on that as well. So, uh, this is it. This is the end. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Any hateful, spiteful comments toward me and to anyone else will be deleted. So, it's time, Jim, signing off. Take care, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.